When you think of CES, you probably think of the LG booth. They have the coolest booth every year with their TV setups. And that's what we're here to talk about right now is the coolest TV tech that we're seeing this year at CES. It's not just the kind of bendy TVs that we're seeing behind me here. They have fully rollable TVs. They've got glassless 3D TVs. They've got ultra thin TVs, 8K TVs, all sorts of stuff. Let's go to look at the coolest TV tech at CES this year. AK TVs were a big deal last year as well, but at that point, we were all kind of scratching our heads saying, why? 4K is great. Well, the answer, frankly, is that TVs are getting bigger. The segment of the TV market that's growing the fastest right now is 65 inches and above. And when we're talking about TVs that are that large, we're talking about a lot of pixels trying to cover a lot of space. And that's where 8K comes into play. 8K, look, it's not gonna be for your 40 inch TV or something, it's just not needed in a screen that size. 4K is gonna work just great. But what 8K is gonna do really well is something like this, a projector system that can go a little bit bigger than 40 inches. Uh, like, I don't know, that. I think that's at least like 45 inches. Now 3D is something that companies have been trying to figure out for a while, but nobody wants to wear the glasses in their home every time they want to watch 3D. So how do you do it without the glasses? In this case, the Shenzhen Magic Display gives an overlay that does the 3D effect right over the top of your TV. So it's all there for you. But I'm gonna go ahead and call this one kind of a miss. As you can imagine, it reduces a ton of clarity and it's kind of a, a headache to watch for any length of time. So. It's a cool idea, but sorry, this one's a miss. Now, if you prefer, we can do that in a phone as well. This one's kind of interesting in that it allows you to just shut on and off the, the 3D. So now it's a flat 2D display and my eyes don't hurt. Uh, and then I kind of turn on that 3D. You won't be able to see this really on YouTube, but, uh, but yeah, it kind of does a 3D image similar to how the Nintendo 3DS used to do it, where if you're looking at it at just the right angle, it's pretty good. But if you tilt it just a little bit, it starts to give you that headache effect. So I would like it if they did something similar to what the new 3DS does, where it kind of follows your, your eyes around so that it's giving you a constant good 3D picture. That might be good. Otherwise, I mean, it's again, it's a cool concept, kind of a miss. Now, when it comes to TVs, thinner is better, right? You want it flat to your wall. And that's just what Skyworth is talking about here in this booth. No gap to the wall, they say. So if we look at this TV right here, this 65 inch flat screen TV and look at how thin the profile is. Now you might wonder how do they actually do that? Where are all the components? Where are the gadgets? Well, they are just underneath. Derek, if you'll pull over here. In this case, we've got them kind of actually jutting out to the front instead of to the back a little bit. So this isn't my favorite version of it, uh, but it is the thinnest one. This is the 65 inch. If we look at the 75 inch, it does have a slightly thicker profile than what we had with the 65. But in this case, it takes all those components and it puts it down below in that sound bar. So that's where you're gonna get all your HDMI plugs, that sort of thing. And they're showing that you can do it underneath, you can put it on the wall, you can do whatever you want with that sound bar, but that's where they're putting all the components for the TV. Great job.